I have... I picked this up a while ago, mentioned it before, actually playing through it now, The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I love... I mean, I know Josh does as well, but... I love these I love games. Ace Attorney. Ace yeah. Attorney is the pinnacle for me of visual novels. Yeah. I think if anyone is like, I like reading books, this is the game I would give them. Yeah. Because it's it's such an easy sell where it's basically just a book where you have to interact every now and then, and then it turns into like a detective like game and then it goes back to being a novel you know what i mean yeah and you can play you can play one these games normally have like four or five cases you can play the first case of any of the games which lasts like one to two hours and just be like okay i get it like this game this yeah is, this is great and i understand what this is and yet despite there being like five like i'm pretty sure every game only has five cases maybe one has six but i think I think almost every Ace Attorney game has five acts. Yeah. Um, they somehow like introduce a new system every act, like a, a gameplay mechanic or something. Yeah. So that once you once you get to the final act, it's like right, take everything you've learned, because everything that's happened in this previous acts, you don't know it yet, but it matters right <laughs> I, I now. I love, I love that when everything always culminates right at the end, and it's like, yeah, everything you've learned or thought you knew over the past 20, 30 hours of reading, you're like, oh my god, everything's just <laughs> turned on its head in some way. Yeah, like you, you'll be in the final act, and it'll be like, oh, you remember like act two? There was that guy that was sat at like the noodle shop called Jimmy. Yeah, he's now like very important in this bit, and you're just sat Jimmy. there like, <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> but um, yeah. So, I mean, this game's incredible. I d I don't know how to sell it more. Okay, so but, fu um, so fundamentally, what yeah. what is this game? So, what is the overall sort of plot we're looking at? What do you do? What does your character do? As, so, you read, as you read the story, because again, this is a, there are puzzle elements, but this is a this is a yeah. story. Basically, so I, I'm not gonna. I'll go over the the basic story of how the game plays out, yeah. but I'm not gonna spoil any actual like plot points, for example. Because yeah. again, because it's like a book, it's like if you spoil a plot point, you now don't have to play the game. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like you know yeah. what happens. The point of this game is to find out. The story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what I will say um, is compared to regular Phoenix Wright games, this is set in the past. Yeah, yeah. This is set I think this this is set during um industrial Great Britain. Right. Okay. So, so you this are... is in this is the real world. We're not in fantasy. No, no okay, sorry. It is fantasy. It is like alternate reality. Industrial Great Britain. Oh, is it like um Oh fuck! What was the 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 Japanese World War One, World War Two uh, RPG Valkyrie Chronicles? Valkyrie Chronicles. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So just like that. Okay. Yeah. In this game, Great Britain and Japan have just signed a treaty. They're best buds now. You know, nice. Great Britain's trying to keep themselves at the top. They they are the strongest power in the world, <laughs> and Japan's <laughs> trying to like get in on that. You know yeah. what I mean? You are a student who, like, uh, it starts out as, like, your character doesn't know what they want to do. They're kind of just very, um, almost, like, stereotypically, like, they're going through education just to get through education and hoping that they find out what they want to do. Yeah. But your best friend is a, like, student of law. Right. And he is this badass looking guy <laughs> like he has a katana at his waist and like we're at the stage where like you're not really allowed weapons but like he's from a clan and is so important that he's allowed it and he has I... to like Ryu headband and it always floats in the wind and your character will be like how does your headband float <laughs> in the wind? Like, how are you doing this? I was going to say, I, I knew plenty of guys at uni who had katanas, <laughs> and I did not think they were very cool. <laughs> no, this guy's awesome. But, um, yeah, so, like, he, he's, like, this guy where it's, like, oh, he's 
he knows what he wants to do and what he wants to achieve in life and has all these grand ideas of like i'm gonna go to great britain and i'm gonna learn the the, uh, the system of law that's over there and then i'm gonna bring it back to japan so that we can improve our uh like law system essentially yeah mm-hmm. um and things happen yeah uh and you end up also going to great britain it's called called it great japan then great japan, japan. <laughs> <laughs> and um you you literally <clears throat> i mean the game starts out i'll say this the game starts out in every cliche ace attorney way where the character that you that is portrays you essentially portrays your choices um because you don't make your own character you are playing as a character yeah Mm -hmm. it's you're always the accused in act one yeah (laughs) somehow you wind up somehow (laughs) you've been you you're right that's how they introduce you and most of the time it'll be like oh you have no lawyer so you're gonna have to defend yourself yeah, probably should have mentioned at some like point that. that you're you are typically a lawyer in these games. That's the, well, the... so that yeah, that's the build up is your character wants to become a lawyer and or a defense lawyer. I yeah. Should yes. Specify. Yeah. Mm. And that's what the Ace Attorney games are: is you, you are a defense lawyer, and it's all about like you, you as you go on, you get to investigate sites, but at the start, it's like you're in court. It's going to happen in one session. You've got to uh, prove yourself not guilty. And then as the games p- games progress in the acts, it's like well, getting a not guilty verdict is not the most important thing anymore. Finding the truth is. Yeah. And that's kind of like a, how most of the stories go. It's like the truth is more important than the not guilty verdict. It's never yeah, as obvious yeah. as it seems. And then... It likes to throw in some curveballs with that, which is always really good. Yeah, Phoenix but, um, Wright games are great for just making it plot si- twists. Yeah, plot twists, making it, making you think you know what's going to happen, and then and being then like, you, "You dummy! There was this. The, there was a secret <laughs> wall here, and they sh- threw a knife through the wall, but that wasn't even what yeah. killed them. It was actually a gunshot from <laughs> two streets away." <laughs> It's but, uh, yeah, um, so they're so weird. But it so it has its moments where it can be a bit too silly. I I distinctly remember one game you have to interrogate a bird. That's that very first game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh-huh. a parrot. It's a parrot that mimics what it's heard. Right, so you okay. have to like say sentences to try and get it to mimic what it's heard, so you can <laughs> yeah. understand what it's heard. And ev- so, everyone in the court is like. This is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, so That's really funny, I like that. You're sat there like, there is logic here, but this is silly. It's like uh, <laughs> you know? uh, video game logic. Yeah. 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 Um, I think you have to interview an orca or a dolphin as well. In, at one, some in point. one of them. Yeah, yeah I of think course. It's the, yep. the third game or something. Um, but they don't do that too often. But um, yeah, the, the best thing is, is in these games, you either figure out who the villain is almost immediately, and you're <laughs> like, right, how do I get from A to B, right? Yeah. Or you have no idea, and I, I mean most of the time, you have no idea who that actual killer is, like how it happened, and then like you genuinely, along with your character, start finding these things out, and you go... Oh yeah, it starts. The pieces start clicking. Oh, is, like is the is the gameplay in this one specifically the same as the older ones, where you have to cross reference um, defendants and piece together contradictions? Yeah, yes, and... yes, yes. So, the, I I think the best thing about this one is is it because they've set it back in a in an older time. Yeah, they've taken out all the fluff mechanics. Okay, yeah, those games. Phoenix Wright towards like five and six, they get pretty convoluted with yeah. different mechanics. They have the, the the newer Phoenix Wright games, the way to explain it is you know when a game just keeps putting in that one too many systems? Like yeah, game Monster, systems. Monster Hunter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Phoenix Wright is like, okay, we've got all the old we've got all the systems from the old game, but we need we need a new one for this game. Yeah, and then they just I know what kept you mean. doing it. Yeah. And it's like, <laughs> like it's what? fine. But imagine if you just picked up game number five, because th- yeah. again, in these games, you don't need to play them in order. You could pick up any Ace Attorney game uh, and play I don't it. know if I'd say that. You could. 
You could, but I don't know if it would, uh, I, I would do it. No, 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 no I, I wouldn't okay. recommend it. Yeah. But then you don't... Like, you pick up the game, you clearly see, oh, Phoenix Wright, he must be the main character. You, you A little bit will go over your head, but they do do a very good job I, of explaining I, yeah. what happened in the past. I, I would say that if there wasn't a really easy way now to play the original games, because there, cause there yeah. is now, you can get the original trilogy on like Steam and stuff, and they play really yeah, well. I, I mean, I would love to see you play these games, Will. So I said before, Me? before you joined, yeah. I've always viewed you as like a book person. <laughs> so uh-huh. I have read a nerd. book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh, called uh, me uh, a nerd. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, in my head, I just think that you would get a lot out of Ace Attorney games. These games are great. Mm. I love these games. I've um, been tempted. Could, just because you guys keep raving. The, o- the only reservation I have is like, a lot of people are like praising the the story of like Star Rail, and I find myself almost within an hour of that game starting, like skipping through cutscenes because nah, Fe- I just can't yeah. I can't stand the dialogue. Phoenix Wright is literally held up by its dialogue and characterization because that, right. because okay. that basically is the game. There are puzzles and plot twists and this that and the other, but yeah. all of it is completely held up by the overall narrative which is right it's, it's interesting it's very well written it's very clever um yeah it's just so, I, yeah. some of the names in this game yeah. like in, throughout all the <laughs> games whenever a character is like important but not pivotal they always have like the most ridiculous names i try and sell it to will with like all this cool stuff and you go straight to the name puns <laughs> The, the puns are so good. Do you like puns? <laughs> like the, there's a guy and he's a curio collector, so he's he's literally called like instead of with C's with K's, called like cure uh, like Curie corrector. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then okay, there's like uh, a guy called Eisenosa, which is like eyes and nose, and then his his son is called like Ido. Or, sorry, I know. So it's uh, I know knows. It's just, it's just, I don't just, know. Just, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm um, here for it. I'm here for it. And then, oh, what was the last one where we had like peace, love, and understanding was his name, but it like <laughs> it wasn't as clear as that. It had like a ton more syllables yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, there, there's always absolute joke characters like, in this game. I've got Herlock Sholmes. Going around telling oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen him. It's that's um, this guy. If you've anyone watching, yeah, that's the guy yeah. with the fucking gun. Um <laughs> Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Fancy anime <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. No, he's not Sherlock that's Holmes, so... he's Herlock Sholmes. Sorry, <laughs> Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> and uh, everyone keeps making the joke, they go, Oh, he's German. It's her Lock Sholmes rather than oh, like Herlock right. in one word. That's really funny. <laughs> and then like he gets really pissed off. But um, no, nah, th- this game's great. It's it's very story driven. If yeah. you're not someone who is willing to read, because a lot of them, mm. I don't think any of them are voice acted. Uh, outside of like key phrases, I don't think so either. No. Yeah, mm. which is always why as well. Like everything is reading, and then every now and then you'll just get the like objection, yeah. and you're like, yeah. oh, and the, the music just stops, and then you're like, okay, I need. I need the music to come back on to know, like, are we in a good objection? Yeah. Or a bad objection? <laughs> Every, everything, like... everything in this game is designed to punctuate the, like, key moments in the story, whether it's, like, a plot yeah. twist or just tension of learning more in a case or a case going badly for your side. Everything just works really well in these yeah, games. Yeah, the, the, the way they use sound in music... Yeah, it's really clever. For for what is just text is incredible, yeah. Um, but yeah, th- this game's the game's great. I'm I'm through four acts now. I'm on the final act. I've said to Josh before, I have actually watched this yeah, game before, yeah. but only the first four acts. That was a long time ago, right? Because this game yeah, was stuck in yeah, Japan for years. I I, that's why I said that's why I watched it because yeah. this game it was. At the time, we never thought we'd get this game over in the West. Yeah. Well, Phoenix Wright is the is is in the weird category, similar to like Monster Hunter and stuff. 
where they started bringing them over and they were like, wait, you guys like this shit? Yeah. Since, since when? It's like we've all, yeah, people exactly. have always liked this stuff. You just never, it's always just been stuck in Japan. <laughs> again, and Phoenix Wright, again, is one of those series over in Japan where it is absolutely beloved. Yeah. To the point where, like, Phoenix Wright is in a Capcom versus Marvel game, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, he's Ultimate Marvel 3. He's in there. Um, he's he, he's shit in here, some, though. like, tactic <laughs> games. Well, even so, like, I yeah, mean, just... he's a defense lawyer against, like. Yeah, against uh, Spider Man and yeah. Doctor Doom. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the, the games. Game slaps. You you could argue that if you've played one, you've played them all. But that's like saying if you've read one book of a series of books, then you've read them all. You know. Oh no, I've read one book and I've read all. Yeah, books. every books. Mm-hmm. Galaxy Brain. Um, I've absorbed all books. Y- well, it's only like, just... There's only so many words, right? So once you've yeah, exactly, read one book, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yes, you know that there's a defense lawyer and. Like you think that oh well it's a game so you must always win yeah uh, no d- you do not I would argue um, that if you finish one of these games that's it you're in you'll want more yeah, of them yeah. because they're just they're so enticing mm. because if you don't enjoy it you won't finish it yeah because you'll find out very quickly like ah oh, I can't really deal with the pacing yeah ah oh, there's yeah. just too much reading but if you get to the end. And it's, again, another thing I say is the pacing is so good because you finish an act and it says, do you want to save? And then it fades to black. So it just gives you a perfect point to be like, I'm just going to put this down and pick <laughs> this up. Ah, oh, but they always end on uh, a cliffhanger, don't they? It's always like we walked in and there was another dead body. Fade well, to black. Yeah. Do you want to save and quit? Like, I'll save. I ain't going anywhere, <laughs> mate. No. <laughs> yeah. And it also, yeah, you can also just save anywhere. Um, yeah. Which still blows my mind because they've done it since what yeah. the, mm. the original one was on a GBA game, right? And like normally, you know, you had to get to a a save point to save games back in mm. the day, and they were mm. like, "Now nah, just just save anywhere, mate." <laughs> I played yeah. the original Phoenix Wright. I played on DS because the GBA version again was like Japan only, and by the yeah. time it came over to at least PAL regions, uh, the DS was out. I think I picked it up in a game station for like 20 quid and played it and I was like what the this is fucking this is awesome yeah, like little, think... little Josh was so impressed I loved it <laughs> the Phoenix Wright trilogy is on Steam I think yeah it is yeah um, yeah I mean it is 30 quid for the original trilogy it's 30 quid I do believe it goes on sale occasionally oh yeah it goes, um, I think the Phoenix tra- the Phoenix Wright games go on sale a lot yeah. I don't know you might even find them on other platforms yeah, you've got. Um, oh yeah, I should go have a look. Yeah, yeah. I, the Phoenix Wright original trilogy, the remaster. I'm pretty sure they're everywhere. Um, yeah, we've got on it on. Switch and yeah, we, right? we've got it on Switch. It's on like PlayStation platforms. I think it's on mobile as well. It's um, not on Epic, but it might be on Xbox. Uh, Xbox, I don't know. Um, the Ace Attorney Chronicles, the one you're talking about, isn't on any Xbox platform. No, no, the, the one I'm playing. Yeah. Um, probably only on Steam. Yeah, as far as PC goes, I is, think this is, is a... there. Sorry, gone. No, no, I've got nothing to say. You go. Um, is there a good which? If I wanted to pick one up, is there a good on ramp Phoenix right to to play? Very what, first what, one. I, I would recommend first... that. Yeah, the Phoenix Wright trilogy because that is one, two, and three. Right. So that's like fifteen gate, fifteen acts. Yeah. Um, and it's probably about the same price as any other Phoenix Wright game. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. although you could be like, well, I don't really want to buy three games, I'd rather just buy one and see how it is. It's about the same price anyway. You get well, more for your money. And also the okay. fi- the final case of the first game is uh, still, I think, my favourite case out of any of them. I is think. that... Oh, that's uh, Karma, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I-, I would actually argue the second one. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, the yeah. End of the second one. But the- <laughs> Act 5 is always a banger. And I, yeah. I I don't use that term lightly when I mean it is always a banger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's on my wish list. You've sold me. I, well, now I need to play fucking Zelda and Phoenix Wright. These, these could, these Phoenix could be... Wright isn't going anywhere. No, though. yes. Not going anywhere. And it's, a, it's, it's a mega slow burn. It's, you, could, you could play it slowly as like an evening thing over a really long yeah. period of time. And mm-hmm. it, it constantly chucks so many fun 
twists and turns and characters that you, you can play it for you know an There's hour only... and have a good time ever one common argument about, well not argument but complaint that people have about Phoenix Wright games yeah, and they'll go oh and am I having a Phoenix Wright moment it's where you're like investigating a place and talking to people and like you can change locations right to investigate and talk to other people mm-hmm. but what the game wants you to do is ask someone a very specific question or present a very specific bit of evidence for the story to progress and you're just right. sat there going at this moment i don't know what the game wants of me oh right yeah yeah but it, yeah. it does always have that like i'll oh, go talk to this person they'll be like yeah maybe we should go talk to the person at the prison and then you're like oh, okay, right yeah. okay at least yeah. now i've got some direction let's yeah. figure out what i'm meant to do the only other issue i've had with it in the past is sometimes if you do get a bit ahead of yourself and work something out a little bit too quick, you have to still do a few like intermediary steps to reach uh, to yeah. reach the point You've... where those characters would have that conversation. Whereas you're like, yeah. oh, I, I want to ask him about this that I've clearly worked yeah. out, and it's like, yeah. but but Phoenix would have no reason to ask that because he hasn't worked it out yet, kind of thing. Uh, yeah, is it very very minor stuff in a very long series. Um, yeah, yeah. But other than that, yeah. Love these games. Yeah, yeah, these games are great. I wish more people play them. If people are listening and they've played Phoenix Wright before, a um, couple other good series, Danganronpa, really, really, really good series. Um, Zero Escape series, also really, really good. Those are the next natural yeah. jump points, I feel, if you I like. I think they're a lot darker. They're a lot darker. Uh, um, Phoenix Wright has some dark moments, but generally it's almost got a very little bit of a comedic undertone it's serious most of the time but it's very Phoenix it's very, very light it's, it's very optimistic these games yeah. um the truth always prevails typically yeah in yeah, the yeah. End. yeah very optimistic games yeah what i recommended similar games but <laughs> lots more lots more murder and death in those games <laughs> um but very similar in uh gameplay and some of the yeah. some of the story beats i would say um yeah, I'm. I'm so glad you're playing this. I will play it at some point. It's just I haven't. You know, it's like you said. This is always there for me to play at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not going anywhere. Um, we should uh, next time there's a sale, like a big sale on it, Josh. We should both get it, and then we can. Oh, the, yeah, this one. Chat about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's specifically why I don't want to ruin any plot points. Yeah. Because it, again, it's like being like, ah, oh, Snape kills Dumbledore. You know, it's like, yeah. whoa! <laughs> wow! Do lose that punch when you yeah. know what happens in a book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 